It's a single player mod and was released with PC Gamer magazine back when they shipped demo CDs with magazines. Yeah, I used to get uh, I used to get a magazine called Maximum PC and I think they used to do that as well. Yeah, I, rem I, I still got some of those old CDs lying around somewhere. But yeah, I remember when they used to ship those those magazines with P with uh, demo CDs. All right, where would I go to find cave sulfur? I mean, more than anything, that's what I need. All right, let me go back up to the surface. And of course, it's available for download now. Yeah, I suppose anymore nowadays, things that are that old. Hoverfish. I mean, it's just really amazing the way the uh, artists and game designers created this underwater world. Scuba diving is something I have kind of always would have lo would love to do, except I'm just too afraid of the uh, creatures that are down here. I would be too afraid of getting uh, getting turned into a shark sandwich or. Uh, or, or getting bit by a uh, stingray or something like that. Well, not bit by a stingray, but a uh, one of those uh, coral eels. Boy, I'd hate to get bit by one of those coral eels. But just to be able to swim down at these depths like this. And just to f be there in. Oh wow! I didn't realize it was that low. Just to view the world underwater in person like this would be pretty amazing. All right, so I really have no idea where I need to go for these. Uh, Cave sulfurs. It was always free, though, but at the time they only shipped, they only shipped it with the game magazine. Now you're talking about the uh, the mod itself was free, or are you saying that, uh, or are you saying that the game was free? All right. Oh yeah, I forgot about this ship. I forgot about this.
Alright, so I think we got our second piece. We got our second blueprint for the, uh, the sea moth. I'm pretty sure it's another blueprint. Yeah, here we go. The sea moth. Two of three blueprints. You know what? I bet the third one is probably down there in the ruins as well. Okay, yeah, the mod was free, but the game, you still need to install it to play it. You know, I guess the way I understand it, when Half-Life... When Half-Life first came out... It was, uh... Oh, bioreactor. Sweet. I thought that might have been the third blueprint for the sea moth. But yeah, when uh passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. All right. Well, I need to find that other blueprint. Yeah, when Half-Life originally came out, I guess it was something of a, uh... That was a pretty big thing for the type of game it was, that it was. Integrating new PDA data. Scanner room. I mean, I guess in a way it was kind of like back when Mist, back when Mist originally uh, made its debut. It was really, uh, really quite a remarkable game. I mean, it was a pretty big deal. All right, where is? Where is the third? Where's the third sea moth blueprint? It's got to be around here somewhere. pretty mean. He looks pretty mean. Thirty seconds. All right. Gosh, I can't find this third blueprint. If you ever want to play Half-Life, I would recommend Black Mesa. Which is the modern remake that is supported by Valve. Black Mesa is on sale for only $8.22. Well, 
for goodness sake, where is... So now it's all basically just salvage. But the other... The blueprint's got to be here somewhere. There we go. Sweet. Let me see if I can build this uh, submersible. I played back Mesa when it was still a mod, and now it's a full paid game. So, bl but Black Mesa is still basically is still basically the first Half Life game, just uh, just remastered. Proper remaster. Now, why do you say that it is a uh Steel ingots? Interesting. Alright. Oh, bleach. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Alright. Uh, let's see, deployables. Alright, so I got this blueprint. How do I... How do I... Oh, okay. Lubricant, power cell, and glass. I should be able to do all that. I still have the lubricant. The glass should be... The glass should be in one of my containers. I think we can make this. It had a, uh, it has a 93% steam review as well. Interesting. But yeah, when you call it a uh, proper remaster, what about it makes it a uh, proper remaster?
Alright, how do I build this thing? Oh, the power cell. Alright, so I gotta build that. Oh, I still need another battery. Um... Okay, so that's what I needed the the acid mushrooms for. All right. All right, let me go back and get some of those. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did I do with... Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing built. It keeps the original feeling, if not better. Oh, okay. Oh, for Pete's sake, what did I do with the copper ore? Oh, good grief. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Jeez. That said, there is a part of the game called Zen, which isn't done yet. It's due for the second quarter of 2019. But the trailer looks amazing, though. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, let's make this battery. Alright, now we can make a power cell. Now I should be able to, uh... All right, now I can make it. How do I do that? Mobile vehicle bay. So, how do I go about making the vehicle? Oh yeah, the bioreactor. We got one of those. Plus steel ingots. Bioreactor. Alright, but where do I go to make... I wonder if I have to be in the water. Is this where we go to make the ship? One person see in space vehicle. Well, for heaven's sake, game, where do I go to build this stupid thing? Shh. 
maybe during a summer sale. Is there a website that kind of uh, details... You know, you would think it would be in deployable. absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to be able to go to build this stupid thing. I wonder if I need to, uh, do I have to be up here to build it? Mobile Vehicle Bay. So, how do I build this thing? Okay. The Seamoth is a one person vehicle independent replaceable power cell. These modules... Okay. Beacon manager. So Do I guess I guess I gotta build the mobile vehicle bay first and then I can build the Seamoth. It's on Steam, it was Greenlight approved by Valve years ago and Valve offered the mod team to sell it on Steam. Yeah, I may have to look at some YouTubes. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to build this thing first. And then I can build my Seamoth. 
the mobile vehicle bay.